On this episode from the Ed Ed, this is the third episode of the Burroughs Class 1 Adding and Listing Machine, and today I'm going to try and clean the green felt that covers the keyboard. As you can see in these um, clips here, I have uh, a pretty nasty little uh, bit of green felt that has been collecting mysterious matter for decades. And the, the challenge is to try and get in between all these keys and clean this stuff up. So what I've done is I've 3D printed a whole bunch of little cleaning wands that we should be able to get in, in amongst those gaps and uh, hopefully clean this stuff out with some liquid and a shop vac pulling that liquid down across the surface and back out again. So trying to come up with a way of, of cleaning in between the uh, keys here, I've come up with some little uh, vacuum cleaning wands basically. The idea here is that you have a port here for your vacuum cleaner and a port here for whatever cleaning solution, uh, water with uh, ammonia is probably what I'm going to try. I've come up with several different sizes, um, simpler versions, the more complex versions with a little port and so forth. And the idea is that this uh, the, the, the vacuum cleaner swans can get in between various, you know, along the keys here. So, uh, one that's a little bit maybe too big for that, one that's maybe smaller and really needs to be. And then I have a third one that's probably the one I'll actually use. And uh, hopefully I can get in there and, and, and clean this stuff up. So what I'm going to try is, um, basically it's a simple solution of, you know, water in a bucket. It's kind of about the same height as the machine. Again, I printed up various adapters, you know, an adapter to uh, attach to your vacuum cleaner hose nozzle. And then that will go to the... I believe it's 3 8 hose here. I'll have to confirm that. 3 8 hose goes onto that guy. And then, of course, that goes to the nozzle. And um, the hoses and the wand. I've tested it previously on a, um old phonograph that had uh, felt on its disc that was quite uh, dirty. And it seemed to work pretty good, a quick little test operation. So hopefully I can refine this a little bit more. On the um, water side, you'll need something to choke the flow down. Uh, and the big thing is to just have just a little bit of liquid coming out that's being withdrawn just about the same rate as it's being applied so that it doesn't go down in the machine. And uh, so I guess what I'll do is I'll start with a very conservative and see if I can work my way up to whatever seems to, to work for this guy. And if it doesn't work, I guess I'll be making a new piece of felt. Okay, so here's the vacuum cleaning wand with the uh, liquid uh, dispensing system idea. I got about, uh, I guess that's a two-gallon bucket with about a half a cup of uh, really high concentration vinegar in it. And hopefully I won't get a whole bunch of water in my machine and it'll come out nice and clean and this won't be a disaster. So we'll see how this goes. First of all, I think I have to prime it a bit. Get liquid to come in. Down in the hose. Just by touching this, I managed to get some water in there. So let's see. I have to get this to draw a little bit of liquid. Just try it on the outside. Okay. Here. So far, I get a little, almost some liquid up there, but not quite. The problem is, I don't want a lot of liquid. I'll probably have to hand. Let's see here. I can do this.
felt has had a chance to dry and uh, my first attempt it's it's definitely improved quite a bit uh, the uh, clinging um, wands I first developed were kind of awkward and very difficult to use so I've developed a couple new ones uh, for a smaller hose so hopefully it'll be a little easier to control and I also I got a uh, control valve so I'm hoping uh, my next uh, effort here will be a bit better but it has made it a heck of a lot nicer it's got a ways to go around the edges and and so forth but it's uh, I, I would say that's quite a bit of an improvement especially in areas where people had you know, probably been placing their hands or palm or something like that over the years it was really quite gory there and through here still got a ways to go on some of these e other edges especially over here the vacuum wand had troubles completing a good seal around like this um, um, you know title plate here and o around over the normal sign uh, may have to use a, a smaller uh, cleaning wand for those areas and uh, the biggest thing is I noticed is the um, areas that were the most stubborn to clean if I took a q-tip with some hand soap and wadded up a big wad of hand soap and wadded it on there and then kind of added a little bit of extra water that really helped kind of loosen up a lot of that stuff so it's, ironically some of the areas that were the worst are probably the best looking now and the other thing that's really interesting to observe is um, once the felt gets wet it's really hard to perceive what you're doing it just seems to suck up the light so you can sit there and, and crank away with this wand and just can't tell what you're doing if you get to the edges where the push button uh, shafts are and the crud's built up there and as you're pushing it around towards those edges you can definitely see the crud as you're pushing and shoveling it around and it's building up in clumps and so forth you can see something going on there but otherwise it, it gets really difficult to perceive what you're doing it's very uh, it's interestingly challenging and it's also interesting as I was cleaning this guy I can see it in the felt there's a couple lines um, kind of mashed into it and at first I thought oh my wands damaged the felt but I think in reality, looking back at some of the old footage, these lines have been there all along between uh, here and here. So they may have had some sort of a plate guide or something that was sitting here for a years and it kind of crushed the felt down. And I noticed over here as I kind of worked on it more, trying to fluff up the felt up this way, it, it seemed to have brought the felt back up so it doesn't have that kind of a crushed little line. So I'm hoping now uh, do more, um, I'm going to probably add some uh, um, liquid dishwashing soap to the water and also maybe do more of the soap you know applied with a q-tip to spots and try and go at it again I'm hoping this next um, go around here I'll be able to liberate more stuff as it is at this point it's it's so much an improvement that I could almost live with it but uh, I think I can do quite a bit better and it's really encouraging because it doesn't look like the felt has shrunk so maybe maybe another few treatments here and I might be able to get this to be kind of nice
what I think overall that came out pretty good, considering this thing's 100 years old, the felt would be really difficult to replace, and everything else. I think it came out pretty nice. I have several other cleaning wands I haven't featured on here that I did use to do the final cleaning. And all the 3D print files will be on Thingiverse. Check out the uh, web address below in the description to download those files if you want to use them for your own Class 1 Burroughs adding machine or any other project that might require a small cleaning wand in a small area that might need, uh, say, a liquid or something like that, or a steam cleaning, or uh, several of the wands are just simply for vacuum and so forth. Basically anything that needs a small area that, uh, you know, some odd little project, it's hard to imagine what else might be, but I thought I might as well just share those files. So anyhow, I think I'm getting close to the end of this uh, project. I think the next thing is cleaning the paint and the windows and so forth, and uh, that's what's up next in the next video. Thanks for watching.